everybody. Focus on me. Paddles up and take it away. I didn't take it away. In fact, I didn't move. I was sitting in a dragon boat, gripping a paddle, while a man with a drum screamed at me. But all I could focus on was the open water surrounding us, while this tune played in my head. Da -hum. Da -hum. Contest chair and masters of fear. Have you ever felt fear so intense you couldn't breathe? Fear can paralyze you so you can't move, can't think. Certainly can't change your life. Well, I've learned that if you stop focusing on fear itself, you can turn fear into action and ride that wave to something better. I've lived with fear since I was five years old. Fear of open water. When I was five, my family loaded up into our camper and drove south for a sun-filled, fun-filled Florida vacation. Of course, none of us could swim, but that's okay because my mom bought us little blow-up floaties. My sister got the fish, my brother got the boat, and me, I got the seal. That's right. My mom dressed me up as the favorite food of the great white shark, then put me in the ocean. As we went running into the waves, my parents went back into the camper to have a drink. In the 70s, that's what we called babysitting. We kids paddled along, completely unaware we were drifting. Out and out and out till we heard people screaming at us from the shore. Ah! They looked that little. My brother decided to jump out of his boat to touch the bottom. The waves just swallowed him up. I've relived that moment so many times in my life and always with a different ending. That day, he popped back up and screamed, there is no bottom. And I felt the deep, vast void open up beneath my feet and panicked. The rest is all a wash of waves splashing, people screaming, me crying. And somehow, my brother, who could not swim, towed me back to shore. After that, I stayed safely on land and never, ever went in the water. But then, a few years ago, something horrible happened. My daughter joined a paddling club. It gets worse. She signed up for a 50 kilometer outrigger canoe change race off the coast of California, home of the great white shark. A change race means they change out paddlers in the middle of the race, in the middle of the ocean. My daughter was going to have to jump out of the coach boat into open water and bob there like some tasty morsel until the outrigger came zooming by, not stopping, mind you, and she just grabbed it, fling herself in while another person jumped out. What did I do wrong with my parenting? When we took her to the airport, I pulled her into a hug and said, I love you. Text me when it's over. Till then, 
I'll assume you're dead. She didn't die. She won first place. When she came home, she placed the medal in my hand and said, Mommy, I love you, but it's time to stop focusing on your stupid fear. That's when she turned my fear into action by signing me up for a dragon boat intro. That's how I found myself, sitting in a dragon boat, gripping a paddle, being screamed at by a man with a drum, waiting to die. But then I stopped focusing on my fear and started feeling that drum beat. I raised my paddle and I rode that way. We can't change our lives. We certainly can't change the world if we're paralyzed with fear. It's time to stop focusing on fear. We can turn fear into action. We will ride this way. Can you do something with me, everybody? Come on. Grab a paddle. Paddles up. We've got some waves to ride. Contest chair.